My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we'll be installing these PJ rear trailer support stands. And here's the reason why you need them. For more information on that incident, check out our PJ Dump Trailer Review. Got the truck hooked up. Got the Bobcat here. So these, these go up in here. And because they go up in here, you have to install them with it jacked up off the ground. I'm just gonna use the skid steer to lift it off the ground. Um, gonna have to lift it up about a foot high in order to slide that in and then I'll be able to slide my pin through lock it in well that's not cool gosh dang it so their pinholes are not lined up you can see So this is a little bit of a quality control issue from PJ. Uh, these holes didn't quite line up perfectly, which didn't allow these pins to go in. Didn't take much, took a half inch drill bit and opened up those holes and the pin fit fine. We'll do the same thing on the other side. This Bobcat T650 skid steer has an enclosed cab and the door on these opens out towards the bucket so when your attachments are raised you can't get in or out. So I had my wife install these rear support jack stands. I don't know what happened here, but this pin is like ultra high and it's not holding in place anymore. So I was looking in here, on the back side it's got um, over an eighth quarter inch and this piece is all bent up. still seems off here. Why is this pin so high? You can see where it used to ride. It used to ride right there. So something's keeping it from... That's a little washer. So I think this washer holds that shaft in place. So if we actually pound up here... Now it looks like that's where it was riding before. And this side's never really ramped up very well. So it kind of struggles. There we go. Nice 
nice and firm. So I don't know what happened on the other side, but this side looks completely factory. No issues at all. And this side's always worked better. Just rides up this ramp. I lifted up these rear support legs to the nearest available hole. Should have given myself a little bit more room with the skid steer here. A little bit in my own way. We'll make it work. Boy, I tell you what, what an improvement loading up into this trailer, having that rear supported uh, makes all the difference. I've uh, had these type of jacks in the rear of equipment trailers, uh, but the dump trailer we've always kind of dealt with it without them, and uh, what a difference that makes. As you can see here with the weight from the skid steer in the trailer, these jacks are all bound up now. So let's take it back out. Okay, first pin I tried, gave us a little bit of gap. Um, not enough slack. So you can see here we've got pins right there. So we need to go up to that pin. That gives us about no, two, three inches of gap. That should, uh, once this trailer's loaded up with the machine, that should give it enough bounce in the suspension. Okay, there's that side. Give it another go. This allowed the trailer to pivot a little bit more, which actually was a benefit because it uh, decreased that angle on the ramps and just made that transition a lot more smooth. And obviously it gave us the needed space in order to pull our pins once it was loaded. Double check my stand, make sure it's off the ground before I pull up my ramps. These ramps were bent in our incident, shown at the beginning of this video. And uh, these were straightened out and added some C-channel in them, but that C-channel made them extra heavy. So in, in transit, generally just put the ramps underneath the skid steer, and then any other time we put them in the little storage trays. Really nice, easy feature, Real, relatively inexpensive. I wish the trailer manufacturer or the trailer dealer would have actually installed these and just been part of the package. This should be part of every single PJ trailer that goes off the line. Um, everybody should opt in for this package. I think these were only $150 for the set. Totally worth the money. Couldn't have built these for that price. Here we are offloading it again. So when you offload the trailer, you basically put it at your first available pin. When you load the trailer, you put it at one additional pin below the, the closest pin. So here we are putting those ramps back in place. You can see a little bit of that C-channel. 
Then let it beef it up. These ramps are extremely heavy after adding that additional C channel. Hopefully they don't bend again. Clean out all the dirt that falls on those hinges and snap it in place. The end. What's that? Did you put something on there? Yeah, hi. What are those, PJ? Oh.